absolutely being bullied is one of the best things that have happened to me in my whole life when i was growing up i got bullied in high school several times people used to pick on me they are shame me for the way i look the way i talk they are shame me for the clothes i wear they told me consistently you won't be nothing you won't do nothing look at you you don't look like the other girls look at you you don't look like the other girls look at you you don't have money look at you you are not popular so they are shame me for everything that i used to like about myself they show me that me being me was wrong and whenever they they was putting all that negativity all that pain into me i reached a point in where i got silent my life got turned off i wasn't going outside anymore I was ashamed to look at myself in the mirror. I was ashamed to go outside. I was ashamed to talk. I would do the impossible just to hide myself. I would do the impossible just to not be nowhere. And you might be asking, Christina, so how was that the best thing that happened to you? Wow, it was so painful, so devastating. Oh my God, it was so much negativity. It was the best thing because thanks to those people not accepting the way I am or shaming me for being myself, it shows me that that's the right thing to do. That it is great, it is okay for people not to like me, it is okay for people not to support me, it is okay for people to reject me, it is okay to people to not believe in me. I grow with that mindset and I reached the point I was like, even if somebody else don't believe in me, I'm gonna believe in myself. Even somebody doesn't tell me that I'm beautiful, I'm going to tell myself that I'm beautiful. So what I did, I become the type of person I needed when I was struggling, when I was crying because of all the things that was going in my school. And because I understood from that age that it is okay to be liked by people. I understood that everyone is not going to like me. Everyone is not going to support me. Everyone is not going to be there for me. And that's one of the best things that can happen to me. Because once I grow with that mindset, now I see how the world and I don't go around begging people, respecting people to support me or to believe in me or to give me love. Do you know why? Because for a long period of time, I have been giving myself all the love, all the support, all the respect, all the positivity I wanted people to give me. And because I understood that people who bullied others, they are simply reflecting who they are within themselves. Because people are, are basically projecting their own insecurities, their own fears, their own drama, within them, we, they, are post, they are portraying whatever they have going on with them, they are putting it onto you. Because you must understand something, people, the way people treat you is a reflection of who they truly are. And the way you treat people is a reflection of who you are. Back then, I didn't have that mindset, but as I grew, I started asking myself, who person who considered himself or herself a good person is going to go around hurting people, putting people down? No good person does that. Only people who are broken, only people who are hurt, only people who are negative to themselves can spread negativity to others. Because if I switch it up and I ask all the people that bullied me, hey, will you want me to treat you the way you are treating me? They are gonna say no. Why? Because they understand that the way they are treating others is negative and is toxic. But they cannot change it because that's how they are and because they put all the people down it's gonna make them feel good about themselves being bullying is one of the best things that happened to me because it gave me a chance to spend a lot of time on my own and to be alone and to truly look at myself in the mirror and start accepting and loving everything about me it gave me all the all the months all the hours all the energy so I to focus on me because when i was getting bullied i didn't want to be around nobody no family no friends no associate i want to be nobody i don't want to be by myself in my room and the amount of time i spent alone i learned to be self reliant i i, I learned to, to to rely on myself for happiness for success for peace for joy for anything and that's a skill that nowadays I'm thankful that I can rely on myself and that I can solve my own problems. Because look around you, look around the world. How many people cannot solve their own problems? How many people don't know how to be alone or can be alone? But me, because I got bullied, the bullied led me into a part of me being alone and me loving myself and me respecting myself and me getting up every single day and telling myself, the world is gonna be against you, but you have to make sure you are not against yourself.
The world might not love you, but you have to make sure you love yourself. The world might put negativity, drama onto you, but you have to make sure you don't put negativity or drama into you. He showed me, he teach me that anybody can talk shit about me, but I had to make sure I don't talk shit about myself. That anybody can put me down, but I had to make sure I don't put myself down. And he also teach me that I am the only person who knows exactly how I feel and I am the only person who's going to pay for the consequences of my actions. Because when I was, I was being bullied, even though my, my sister was around me, she was feeling bad that I'm in a, in, a, in a situation, but even though she was feeling bad, she feeling bad didn't change how I, how I was feeling. She feeling bad didn't change the situation, which made me understood that I am the only one who is going to pay for the consequences of my actions. No matter if my sister is feeling bad, I was the one who was being bullied. I was the one feeling the pain. I was the one crying. I was the one feeling devastated. Yes, she was by my side, but she was not experiencing what I was experiencing. And that gave me a sense of ownership to know that whatever I do in life, I'm not gonna blame nobody for the consequences of my action. That if I'm gonna blame somebody, I'm going to blame myself. I'm going to blame my mindset. I'm going to blame my attitude. I'm going to blame my behaviors. I'm going to blame me instead of other people. And also being bullied, teach me that I am the only one who can save me. I am the only one who can empower me. I am the only one who can heal me. I am the only one who can save me. I am the only one who can educate me. I am the only one who can make me happy. I am the only one who can fix me. I am the only one. Because I switched it up, even when I was bullied, I stayed down and I waited on my, on my parents, or the government, or my friends, or my associate, or, or the people around me to come and save me, I will have waited forever. Because at the end of the day, Everybody, before thinking about you, they think about themselves, which is great. So I pulled that responsibility on me, and I was the one saving myself. I was the one cleaning my tears. I was the one picking myself up. I was the one telling myself in my head, okay, even, they, even if they bullied you, they think you are ugly, you are powerful, Christina. I love you, Christina. That was my self-talk, which is something that being bullied teach me. Being bullied teach me how my own thoughts or the things I tell myself has greater power than what anybody can tell me. Because whenever the, I, I was getting bullied, I'm like, oh my God, look at you, you come in class again with the same shirt, oh, you look ugly. They would tell me that, but I would tell myself, it's okay, it's okay, your clothes don't define you. You are beautiful, I love you, you look great, you look great. I was saying that to myself in my mind. Even though what I was receiving was negative, my self-talk was positive, but if I switch it up and I was receiving negativity and then I was being negative to myself, I will have never overcome my bullet and I will have remained low, I will have remained weak and I will have remained broken. But because I was able to switch it up, that no matter how much negativity I'm receiving from the outside, I'm going to remain positive in the inside. Being bullied teach me that, as I said earlier, not everyone is going to like me and that's okay as long as I love myself. Not everyone is going to support me and that's okay. As long as I support myself. Not everyone is going to be there for me, but I have to be there for myself. And also being bullied, teach me how not to care about people's opinion. Yes, it did. Because people's opinions were not my reality. They're gonna tell me, oh my God, look at you, you're wearing, you're wearing the shrimp shirt. You look ugly. But to me, that shirt look beautiful. To me, I like that shirt because I washed it two days ago and I wear it again and I like it. But people's opinion does not define my reality. Being bullied teach me how to not care about people's opinion. Being bullied teach me how to not prioritize people's opinion. Being bullied taught me how to not let people's opinion define who I am or who I can be or who I can become. Because imagine, whatever they tell me, you weren't good enough. You are ugly. Oh my God, look at your body. You're so muscular. Do something else. Imagine if I listen to them. And I'm like, oh yeah, what they are saying is reality. I will, I will, if I listen to them, I will have not been the person I am today. And who I am today, I love every single bone, every single space of my body, of my mind. People's opinion does not define me and they're never going to define me. They used to pick up my clothes. And I learned that clothes do not define you. No matter if I'm wearing the same shirt 
every single day. No matter if I'm wearing the same pants every single day, I am still powerful. I am still worthy. I am still good enough. And also, being bullied, teach me that you don't know what somebody else had, have going on in their life. But if you can simply be kind or be positive, that's it. You have changed the world. If you can simply be kind to yourself, be positive to yourself, and be kind to other people, that's it. Because whenever I was, I was being bullied, my, my, my sister would come and be like, hey, you're okay, you're gonna be okay. Okay, keep going, you got it, I believe in you. My sister was kind to me, even though everybody else was unkind to me. But just the little bit of kindness that my sister was giving to me, it get me going. Because most of the days, I didn't tell her how horrible it went in school that day. But just because she was a little bit kind, that gave me going through. A lot of you don't know how people go through. We see a body, we see faces, we don't, we don't see hearts. We don't see people's mind. The least you can do is to be kind and to be positive. Because you don't know who can be dying. And the person is sending right to you. That if you put negativity or you put drama, or toxicity onto them, they are going to break. So being bullied earlier teach me how to be kind and how to be positive to myself and to others. Because I can imagine if whenever I was being bullied and I was unkind to myself and I was negative to myself, no, I don't think I would, I would have become the person I am today. And also being bullied it taught me that everything happens for a reason. Absolutely. Everything happens for a reason because there is no coincidence. Because mind you, if I wasn't bullied earlier when I was growing up, I don't know if I would have learned all the lessons that I know now. I don't know if I would have been the person I am today. I don't know. But because I experienced something, that's something I use it to empower myself. I use it to be a better person. I am who I am today. But a lot of you, you are not using your situations, your circumstances, your pain, your mistakes, your failures as a way to empower yourself, as a way to believe in yourself, as a way to, to invest in yourself, as a way to love yourself. A lot of you are using your pain, your challenges, your failures, your mistakes as a way to put yourself down, as a way to not believe in yourself, as a way to not love yourself, as a way to not invest in yourself. Switch it up. Start seeing everything good or bad that happens to you. Start using it to educate yourself, to elevate yourself, to invest in yourself, to grow yourself. If you, if, if you can simply switch your mindset or switch your perspective around the things that happen to you, you are going to be way happier. Because I learned that everything, if I can see everything as an experience, if I can see everything as a learning lesson, I end up winning. I end up winning. And that no matter, also being bullied taught me that no matter how painful you can be today or no matter how, how horrible things can, can go today, tomorrow can be better. Tomorrow can be different. Absolutely. Because no matter how, 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 how long I was putting it in when I was growing up, look at me today. I'm not that person anymore. I grow. I evolve. I am a better version of myself. Which is something that being bullied teach me as well. It teach me to always be me. No matter where I am, no matter what I'm doing, to always be me. Because at the end of the day, I don't want to be nobody else. I only, I only want to be a higher, better, stronger, wiser, healthier version of me. That's all I want to be. See, everything has a learning experience. And I'm sorry if you have been bullied or that people bullied you. Well, matter of fact, I'm not sorry. See it as something that's going to empower you, it's going to elevate you, it's going to make you a better person. Use all that pain as a reason to be a better person. Use all that pain to learn, which is something that bully taught me how to manage pain. Absolutely. Oh, wow. That's a good one. Bully taught me that pain can be a teacher, that pain can empower you, that pain can elevate you, and that pain can make you a better person if you use it to your advantage. Because I could have perfectly used my pain to not grow, to not evolve, to not be educated, to not love myself, to not believe in myself, but I did not. I used my pain 
to learn. I use my pain to evolve. I use my pain to build character. Because also, whenever you go through hard things in life, those things are going to benefit you because you are building a character. The more painful things you go through, the more uncomfortable situations you go through, the more challenges you go through, that is going to empower you. That is going to make you better. Because, for example, since I got bullied earlier and I deal with that pain, Nowadays, I can deal with heavier and more painful things. I can be under uncomfortable situations and I'm going to keep choosing to keep going, no matter how much I'm struggling. Why? Because I know the pain can teach me. I know the pain can elevate me. I know the pain can empower me. I don't know which state of your life you are right now, but I'm telling you, being bullied is one of the best things that happened to me. Absolutely. And all the people that bullied me, I only use them. I, I have, that's something too, that bully taught me. No matter how many horrible things people have done to me, I have never and will never done the same thing to nobody. Do you know why? Because I am not what other people do to me. I am not who other people want me to be. I am who I choose to be and who I want to be. Which a lot of you, I don't think you guys are doing. You are letting whatever happened to you 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 5 hours ago, define who you are. Don't let whatever happens to you define who you are. Get up every single day and recreate yourself and reinvent yourself as much as you want, as much as you can. Which is what I did. No matter how, much, how many horrible things I did growing up, no matter how much pain, how bullied, how many people shame me, how many failures, how many insecurities I had, I choose to reinvent myself to recreate who I want to be. And all of you can do that because you are under no obligation to keep being somebody who's not making you happy. You are under no obligation to keep being somebody who doesn't bring you peace, who doesn't bring you joy, who doesn't bring you happiness. You are under no obli obligation for that because you can change. You can tell yourself, I'm going to be wiser, stronger, successful, and you are going to be because nobody can stop you. Nobody can stop you. And whenever you are under negative situations, you are struggling, you are in pain, I'm telling you, keep going. I know it hurts. I know it sucks. I know you can feel like the world is about to end, but I'm telling you, keep going. The pain won't last forever. The pain won't last forever. Keep going. I know it hurts. I know it sucks. I have been there. I have been in your shoes. I have been rejected. I have failed. People have shamed me. People have bullied me. People have told me I won't be nothing. I can't do nothing. People have told me I'm not good enough. People have told me I'm ugly. People have told me I'm not worthy. People have done to me and people have told me all the horrible and painful things you can imagine. But you cannot tell. Why? Because I choose who I want to be and because I work on myself and because I know my destiny is on my hands. Get up every single day and choose who you want to be and be that person. And no matter who you are or what you are doing, you are powerful, you are worthy, you are good enough every single day. And also because people rejected me, I was like, okay, you don't reject me, it's fine. If somebody else tells you no, it doesn't mean something is wrong with you. You are not what they want and that's okay. I was working out minutes ago before doing this video. Anywho, and if you felt you made a mistake, see your failures, your mistake as, as feedbacks and not as reasons to punish yourself. Oh, hey guys, come join my video. Run, run, run. I didn't want to interrupt you. No, come join. I was telling them about, I don't know if you guys knew, but I got bullied in high school. Me too. So I was, you too? Yeah, in middle school. How was it? Um, I didn't want to come to school. I was scared. Well, not scared. I just couldn't talk to, like, guys, you know, roasting and stuff, you know? That was a big part of high school, you know? Well, not high school, middle school. And I could stand up to girls because, you know, I don't know why. But boys, I can never say nothing. I used to talk about my lips. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm like joking because this is just kind of trauma. No, you can, you can laugh about it now. Okay. You, you, have, you have overcome it if you can yeah. laugh and not cry. Yeah. I like my lips. But yeah. How do you learn to like it despite people telling you that they are ugly? Because the way, I don't know. I think I look pretty. 
Yes. Yeah, I you, think. You do. I don't think I'm ugly. You are not. I think each facial feature makes who you are. And I feel like if you're different, then one day people are going to be like, oh, I don't want the same thing. And then you're going to be the thing somebody's looking for. Mm -hmm. So never change who you are because people will grow up and see that you are the person that they want. And every single one of the people who talked about me hit me up. Oh, okay. There you go. What can you tell them that there's anybody, any girl that's being bullied yeah. right now? I feel what like tell her? if you're being bullied right now, it's really nothing to do with you. I feel like it's just what people see different things and they don't know how to handle different things and they're scared of what's different. And I feel like you just need to keep showing that you're unique and you're special mm -hmm. and that you can make a difference in people's lives or you know, you never know what you can really do to help somebody's life. So I feel like you should just keep being you. Say nice things to others. And to yourself. Amen. Well, guys, subscribe. It was helpful. Thank subscribe, you, Anissa, for sharing. Subscribe,